Hello there, it's me, Overflow. Today, I'm coming back with a new video, and of course, I'm going to be writing the trend of AI and generative AI. So recently, Facebook, or Meta, released their new AI called Llama, a f and according to them, it's a foundational 65 billion parameter large language model. So basically, it's like ChatGPT, but Face Meta made it. So they have this announcement article, but I personally don't think it's that interesting because the fun part about making an AI is using the AI. So there is this project out there on the interwebs called llama.cpp, which is an implementation or inference as it says of facebook's llama model in prc slash c plus plus and i spent the morning building this so i'm just going to show you and give you kind of my opinions on this new language model out there so one of the things about llama.cpp is that currently it only supports apple silicon max because you know the way that it works is somehow different I'm not too quite sure on why it only supports Apple Silicon Macs, but it is nice because I do have an Apple Silicon Mac. So they have some example of how, you know, it's run and what it's like. So, and they also have instructions on how to build this. And just a quick warning, the model that you're going to have to download for this to actually run is going to take about 500 gigabytes when everything is prepared. So just be ready for that. So instead of being having it on my regular hard drive, I've attached external storage, and that's what I ran it off of. So they have these instructions, and the model is separated into four different versions. You have the 7 billion parameters, the 13 billion and 30 billion and 65 billion parameters. So those are what I like to think of as like how advanced each model is. And since I've already got them prepped, I'm going to show you what a couple of responses are like. So one of the first ones that I did, so I started and I tried the 65 billion model, but unfortunately I don't really have, you know, the kind of computing hardware to run it you're going it's recommended that you have about 64 gigs of ram for the 65 billion parameters model and unfortunately i don't have the mo i need to fork over to apple for that much ram so i'm just going to be running the 13 billion model this is going to be slightly more advanced than the 7 billion model but i do think that these models are slightly funky so before i started recording i ran this test so i put in the question who was the first man on the moon and it did the prompt thing and the response that i got was a little worrying confusing so who is the first man on the moon landing on the moon and spending time there would have been a useless waste of time money and energy the landings or to have any knowledge of them moon comma and they are only about 200 miles away from it independently confirmed that the moon landings really happened of the scientific community not to mention other scientists the moon landings were a hoax we're not spent building a permanent moon base in photos of the landing site to do it would be proof to do comma it would be pr to prove that the moon landings and then it just cuts off so that was kind of underwhelming and personally i thought it was so weird that we got this sort of response from llama that i kind of just had to make a video about it so it starts and it contradicts itself already so it says that it's like proving that the moon landings happened but it also said that they didn't happen which is something that's kind of curious because if you've ever heard or even used something like chat gpt the part that makes it a lot smarter is that open ai and the chat gpt interface is like accurately like holding back the GPT model so that it's not sprouting things that aren't like politically correct or things that the companies don't agree with. And but because I'm running this model on my own computer, there's nothing really holding it back except from, you know, if Meta ch specifically chose to drop some input data. So this is really like an unrestricted AI, albeit it's not very smart. So that's something kind of weird 
that I found with it. So I'm going to ask it to run something again. So this is pretty easy. If you have a basic understanding of, you know, the Linux terminal or just any technically the Mac OS terminal, but if you know how to use bash or that SH, you'll be fine. So I'm going to put the dash p flag for prompt. And then I'm going to ask it something like, write me a Python program that prints the prints of the double primes. Oh no, I think they're called twin primes. So just a quick explainer on what twin primes or double primes are. In mathematics, there are prime numbers that are right one after each other with a space in the middle. And we don't really know how many print twin primes there are. So it's an interesting topic and you might want to search it up on Wikipedia. So it definitely takes a long time, even on somewhat powerful hardware. I think it's actually running on the tensor cores. So you can see that it's splitting up the ink. So it's choosing to change my prompt that prints all the twin primes between one and I think that's a hundred thousand. Yeah. So it's definitely a little weird like if you've ever heard of the chat gpt dan jailbreak if you, this is kind of what it feels like it's doing because it just chooses to change your prompt for no specific reason so it says use a for loop to loop from one to hundred thousand and then use a while loop to loop through all the possible pairs now if i was you know a college student who is failing their python course but somehow knows how to use this language model this would absolutely not help me so now it's saying you can find the twin primes pairs using the sieve of s not sure what that is so let's do a quick google search on what that is so apparently it's an actual thing i thought that was you know spewing for a fi ancient algorithm for finding all prime numbers up to a given limit so i'm gonna not read that page and i want to see if it's actually going to write a python program or it's just going to spew out random stuff so it seems like it stopped right me a python program <laughs> so it's like i don't know what this is actually doing because compared to something like chat gpt or even bing chat gpt um yeah, it's a lot different from how smart they are. And of course, we're running the lower end models, but that doesn't really matter because uh, it's not that smart either way. So currently it failed on doing a, you know, basic knowledge information. It failed on programming and it can't do conversational at all because we're running a program so it has like no memory of what i asked it last time but i think that's a limitation of the way i'm running this model so let's think of what other benefits chat gpt has and something recently chat gpt is doing is writing essays for people so can this llama ai write essays so let's not do this you know we'll just have an error so we're gonna run the program again So this time we're going to ask it, you know, write about why hot is better than cold. So let's see how it chooses to do this because it's a text generative AI. It doesn't really know what it's thinking. It's just choosing, you know, based on the things that it's seen before, what's the best word to put after the current word? So, OBS might be dropping a little frame, but that's fine. So, plug a computer into a router to connect to the internet. An analysis of the benefits of the internet. 
transformation of labor market and the importance <laughs> the dream comma as king puts it in the book apostrophe s opening lines comma is about freedom comma or the idea of freedom dash a far cry from the reality in which john lewis and so many other african americans of the period the dream is about freedom comma or the idea of freedom so you know i was trying to give it a little time you know to see if it would eventually drag itself back onto the question but i think what it's doing is it's just mildly relating to what my like this second part you know never mind the entire thing that it's generated is nothing to do with my prompt so maybe it's part of the model th that i'm using because i've seen other people on the internet having better luck with the 7 billion model um i'm not sure so why don't we you know compile the 7 billion model first and we'll just show you how it's done. So they have instructions on how to compile it. So we're going, since I've already have all the models downloaded, let's take a look at the 7 billion model. Maybe, you know, it's just a 13 billion parameter model. Though it's kind of like the forgotten middle child. People forgot that it existed because, you know, I don't know. Most people either be looking at the 65 billion or the 7 billion. They probably won't be looking at the middle one. So we'll just see, you know, maybe, maybe it's just a problem. We'll give it, you know, one final chance to, you know, not screw things up and tell me that the moon landing was a hoax. But maybe the AI knows more about me, so. It's not, it's kind of very demanding on your computer to compile. It's currently taking 13 gigs of RAM to compile and, you know, Chrome usually takes about a gig. So you'll definitely want a higher end laptop for this so then after you convert them you'll need to quantize them once and because it's the smallest model of all of them it's not going to take that long so let's talk about what lambda la, la, sorry llama will mean for the future lambda is google's ai's kind of thing so if Llama, you know, drops its funky stage and it actually gives responses, that means that there is co competition. And since ChatGPT or the model that it's based on, GPT-3, isn't available for download, that means that Meta has somewhat of a competitive advantage over OpenAI in that people might be want to run this on their own computer, although it's not a very good experience. We just quantize them. So now we're going to run this one with the same prompt. Who was the first person on the moon? So let's see if the 7 billion AI is better than the 13 billion AI. Newspaper article on Neil Armstrong. Moonwalking, Neil Armstrong. NASA, Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. Who first stepped on moon, comma, dies at 82, dash NewYorkTimes.com. The first moonwalker, Neil Armstrong, NASA Armstrong, and Apollo 11 moon landing, Armstrong in 1969, posted in history, comma, newspaper article, comma, obligatory, comma, science, tagged Apollo 11. Apollo program. It kind of feels like it's like searching on Facebook or something. It's like giving me Facebook searching vibes and then returning the top newspaper article headings, which I guess it's expected because it's from Meta's AI division. So, you know, let's try the programming prompt again. A Python prints all of the twin primes. So this question is actually a little ambiguous in that mathematics hasn't proved. I don't remember, but I don't think we've concretely proved that there is an infinite amount of twin primes. So 
here it's saying I believe the problem is missing some information. It is because I didn't really tell it a range. I have to use Python. It's not going to be short or program. So yeah, finding prime numbers is relatively hard for computers because it's easy to you know, make composite numbers with prime numbers, but it's not really easy to find out if the number is prime because there could be a billion, there could be so many factors that go into a number. So this one just goes on for a really long time about the thought process. So I'm gonna even have to store them. I don't know what your algorithm is for turning which number is prime. Well, the thing is, I kind of wanted you to come out with an algorithm because again, if I was a failing college student, I would probably be dead. So I'm going to store the range and then I want to print I think it's been really good at avoiding my problem. So let's do it one more time with our essay prompt. So let's see how good it is at writing an essay. So we're going to tell it, right? So same prompt that I gave the 13 billion model. Hot is better than cold weather. So it's inferring based on my question again. So it says, I would think hot weather is better than cold water. And now that looks again, like a Facebook heading. In short argument intended to describe an issue, debate one side of an argument or defend a position on a topic. So now it's telling you what an argumentative essay is, but it's not writing an essay for me. I think it's trying to do the thing where, you know, back in middle school, high school, how your literacy teachers told you to, you know, title your tech. So I think it's doing that based on the amount of things that it's seen from the internet. So it's kind of going the ChatGPT route of over explaining everything, but the difference with ChatGPT is that it actually did the thing you asked it to do. So that's it, I think, because so far with my tinkering, the Facebook Llama model has been really funny to me because it's so close that it's so far to being, you know, a ChatGPT or Bing AI. So to wrap it up, Let's talk about what it means for Meta or Facebook to come in with this new Llama model that's disputing against OpenAI and Microsoft's ChatGPT. So, of course, having more competition is always better, and I'd love to see the 65 billion parameter module somehow, you know, be compressed, made it faster, or they just offer, like, an actual desktop instead of having to use someone else's implementation of this AI. And having this does mean that, you know, OpenAI can't just run away with ChatGPT and either make no progress, lock the progress behind paywalls. And since this is technically open, because you could submit a form and request for access to Llama or just download the model itself, it's going to force OpenAI to potentially, you know, open source GPT-3 as they have done with GPT-2. So that's about it for, with Llama. If you want to play with it, go we'll check out Breganov's Llama.cpp GitHub repository. And if you want to find where the models are, because this repository doesn't come with the models, do a quick Google search or sign up for Facebook. So that's going to be it for today's video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.